just keep thinking about how this is David's last Christmas. The only one he's ever going to get to spend with his son. Why don't you take Trevor and go over to Wild Wind and spend Christmas with him? What? No. You're lying here with me. You're talking about him. I mean, you know, it seems like that's what you want to do. No, that is not what I'm saying. Well, what are you saying exactly? Why do you keep bringing up his name? You are right. We should not be talking about David. We should. Be doing that. Yeah. Ah, uh, that reminds me, I need to get some mistletoe. Well, if you get mistletoe, I'll get a Santa suit. And if I get a Santa suit, I will get you one of those sexy Mrs. Claus numbers. <laughs> Are you really going to go down the chimney? You know, I was thinking about that. Of course, I'd have to park my uh, sled on the roof, and I'd let Rudolph and the boys go and take a breather, take a break, or get a <laughs> pint. And then uh, I was thinking about my big entrance. But not going down the chimney, because it would ruin my duds, I think. Well, you know, delivering presents is a lot of work. Mm. So, as a reward, I will bake you cookies. Really? Mm-hmm. You know how to bake? Well, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. So, tomorrow morning, first thing, we'll go get a Santa suit, mistletoe, and I want to take Trevor to the toy store. I want to buy the whole place out. Really? Well, that's not happening. Why not? Because... <sighs> Santa came early. <laughs> no presents are being opened on Christmas Eve. We have to wait until Christmas morning, and that is final. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. What if on Christmas Eve I get you good and loaded on eggnog, and you go down for the count, and I wake up Trevor? You wouldn't dare. Yeah, I would. And then we open all the presents. We go bananas. We play with everything, right? And then when he gets tired, I put him back to sleep. I come downstairs, I wrap all the presents, I put them under the Christmas tree, and when you wake up in the morning, you wouldn't even know what happened. Hello? All right, you try it and see what happens. For starters, you will not get your present, which I happen to have right here. Oh, yeah? Good. Oh, well, that's weird. What, you don't know whether to give me the gold watch or... Uh-oh. The DVD collector's edition of Todos Los Niños, my favorite telenovela. Oh, yeah, thank I didn't you. buy this one. It's a, it's a present to Trevor from David. I guess David slipped it into my bag at Wildwind before I left. So. Do you want to guess what it is? Gold watch. No. Hmm. And it's not my most excellent telenovela. Wrong again. I know what it is. You bought me the Washington Redskins, and now I'm the proud owner of an <laughs> NFL franchise. Is that right? You wish. Keys to a new Lamborghini. No. Old Lamborghini. No. <sighs> Do you want a hint? Yeah, you know, I know what you're doing. You're just waving that thing around because you don't want to show me what's in there. You just want to remind me that I'm supposed to buy you a present, right? Oh, you know, just for that, you have to wait until Christmas. Mm. Here. Just call David and invite him over here. Spend no. Christmas with us. Go ahead. No. Why not? You keep thinking about him. Jake, you're getting angry over nothing. Oh, is it nothing? He put the present in the bag. You know why? Because he wants you to think about him wherever you are or whoever you're with. That's why he put the present in the bag in the first place. David hardly has any time left. Do you think that he wants to spend that time manipulating me? Yes, yes, I do. I think he wants to manipulate us. He wants to control us for as, as long as humanly possible. That is his way of winning in his mind. Win what? In six months, he's going to be gone forever. David is done trying to hurt people. He's done with revenge. He's trying to make peace with everyone, including you, Jake. Oh, my God, you believe that? He gave us Trevor. That is for real. We are going to have custody. OK. All right. All right. I, I don't want to fight with you, OK? 
please. I love you. I want you. Okay, nobody else. Uh, okay, don't go anywhere. Christmas, boys. Really? Wow. That's bad. Okay, uh, I'll be right down there. Yeah? Okay. Well, who was that? It was the hospital. Uh, bad accident, and no one's. I, I'll be back as soon as possible. Chris, take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Uh, I just, I lied to Amanda. What do you mean you lied? We were in my house, everything was fine. We're getting into the whole holiday spirit, you know, and then she opens up her suitcase, and inside the suitcase is a present from David to Trevor. And I get that, that's fine, I get that, right? But it's just that it... Wherever we are, there he is. I mean, he just I always keep finds a way. I'm telling you, you can't get, you know, afford to lose it about Hayward. I was cool. I wasn't, I'm not, you're not listening to me. I was cool. I didn't overreact. But then she starts to defend him, you see, and that pissed me off. And I just, I, I just had to leave. I couldn't mm, stay there. At least you got out of the poor guy out of hand. And then That's she starts talking about, wow, how wonderful is he? He's, he's sacrificing and he's given us custody of Trevor, which isn't really happened yet. But, you know, and now she's believing that we're in some sort of a Hayward free zone where we get to live without him and that's not true because custody comes with strings right actually it's not strings it's more like a, a bungee cord that's attached to my wife which will just pull her right back to wild wind into his arms and i don't know what to do shut up of course you know what to do you fight i uh, know you're not supposed to say yes. that no, I, well, i'm yeah. gonna fight a dead man everybody yeah. knows you he's fight dying, right? you fight you fight by forgetting hayward you fight by concentrating on amanda and trevor but they're back where they belong, right? It's the start of the holiday season. Pour everything you've got into making sure your family has the best Christmas ever. Give Amanda the one thing that Hayward can't. Love, baby, real love. That's all you need. I know what he's up to. Who cares? Go back to your wife. Forget about Hayward, okay? Don't think about him. Don't worry. Just pretend he doesn't exist. That way you're gonna blow him right out of Amanda's consciousness. All you've got to do is make sure your wife knows how much she means to you. Oh, what's the... Amanda? David, uh, sorry to bother you. I uh, just... Trevor woke up, and I can't get him back to sleep. I've tried everything. Does he have a fever? No, he doesn't. I just can't get him to stop crying. All right, put the phone on speaker. Hush, little baby down. Still be the sweetest little boy in town. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mommy loves you, and so do I. Thank you. That calmed him down. Thank you. Uh, I, I couldn't get Trevor to stop crying, so he really likes it when David sings to him. It's all right. Why don't you put him down, and we'll uh, get to bed. Well... He said to bed, I hope you don't mean to sleep. 